Hello there, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekend reading for April 7th through 9th, 2023. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. If you are celebrating Easter, happy Easter to you guys. We've got that going on this weekend. Um, and if you don't, hopefully you get a day off work or you get a little bit of reprieve. Uh, hopefully take some time off for yourself or spend some time with friends and family. Um, before I get into your reading here, number one, if you do enjoy it, please hit that like button there and subscribe to my channel. But I'm also uh, poking around for a little bit of feedback from you guys today. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you do know that uh, I used to do weekly readings on top of everything else that I do. Um, and uh, I had to I had to stop a few months ago. I found that I was um, getting a little bit uh, stressed out. And of course, I love what I do here. I don't do it for money, not that it pays me much anyway. Um, you know, you got to have a lot of subscribers and things for that, right? Crack that code, crack that algorithm. I do it because I love it. It's part of my life's calling. And um, I just love, love putting the messages out there, right? So I'm just following my path. And but the thing is, is that I was just didn't have enough time. I didn't have enough quiet time is really what it is. So now I've moved. So I'm in a different space, different, uh, different energy, and it is absolutely fabulous. So now I'm finding that I've got uh, a little bit more relaxed. I've got more time. And so I was thinking of kind of changing things up a little bit on my channel. So I was just wondering, I was thinking about making the daily readings um, a lot shorter. So like under 10 minutes. And perhaps focusing on an oracle card of the day and a tarot card of the day and maybe a clarifier if there's something very challenging coming up, right, to focus on moving forward and getting past our challenges and obstacles, which is um, a great way to be. Um, but I was thinking of putting the weeklies back in there. And so uh, would you be interested in that? And of course, I would keep everything else that I do, the monthlies, the timeless readings. Um, I do pick a cards every once in a while. I'll probably have a little bit more uh, quiet time to do that also. So if I was to put the weekly readings back in and shorten those dailies, is that something that you would be on board with, something you're interested in? Um, or if you have any other suggestions on, uh, you know, maybe some um, other aspects that you're interested in, um, then let me know in that as well. I don't typically gravitate towards the readings for the collectives that are, you know, is my ex coming back? Is my ex thinking about me? Things like that. If they come up in readings, I address those, but I don't do readings really focusing on that um, because, well, it's, uh, it's just not really, I'm not called to do it. And um, uh, it's one of those things where I'm really more about getting past things and healing from things and moving forward from things. Usually exes are exes for a reason, right? Um, so that's not really my thing um, with that, okay? But, you know, but anything else, just let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you do enjoy this reading, hit that like and subscribe button. So let's get right into it. And we have Go Now coming in for you, Serapis Bay. You are encouraged to go for it. And what a wonderful message right at this time of year. Uh, we're moving forward. Spring has sprung. There's so much new energy in the air. We're in Aries season. We just had uh, full moon in Libra yesterday. We're still in the energy, finding balance and harmony, making decisions, uh, looking at our relationships, um, and also looking at our goals. We've got a solar eclipse coming up in two weeks. And so there's a lot of growth in the air. There's a lot of change in the air as well. So where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Okay. What do you want to try? What have you been putting off and procrastinating over? Now is your time. You're being shown the way and you're being encouraged to follow your path. For some of you, this is about leaving a situation. And again, we're still in full moon energy. Full moons are about releasing, letting go, healing, they're from making decisions, um, assessing situations, looking to see where you need change. And in this energy, if you've been wanting to leave a situation to follow a different path or maybe to find inner peace, right? Something is just not going the way you want it to. And maybe you've known for a while that you need to do something a little bit different. And again, you're being very encouraged to take that action whatever that looks like for you. 
We've got the Four of Swords, find your peace. The Hermit, healing, find your peace. And we've got the King of Wands, there's your action. So the Four of Swords is all about rest and relaxation. So some of you are tired, you're exhausted, and um, Spirit is encouraging you here this weekend to take a little bit of time for yourself. Have a nap, go to bed early, relax on the couch with a book or watch a movie that you've wanted to watch for a while. Um, you know, just maybe spend some time at home instead of running around, have a bath, uh, whatever that looks like to you, whatever a little bit of R&R &R looks like to you. But the Four of Swords also brings in a peace of mind, okay? An inner peace and outer peace, okay? So a calming energy for your um, heart, body, mind, and soul here. So it may be that some of you are engaging in some meditation or this is a results of the meditations that you've done at the full moon to cut cords to release negative energy and this is that result so you might just be starting out your weekend just feeling in this nice calm vibe and energy for yourself okay um but some medica meditation um may really help you at this time because i feel here with the hermit card um i think what it was yesterday i, th I think it was yesterday where we had um life purpose, right? Well, here's the hermit. The hermit is where we go to turn inward and to do a little bit of soul searching, to think about where our path forward leads us. What are we here to do? Why do we do the things that we do? Um, right? So sometimes we need to kind of, sometimes we uh, you need to focus on that. It's like, why did I do that? Um, and sometimes when we turn inward, it's like, oh yeah, okay, I see that. All right. So, but the hermit is where we do contemplate things, right? We do that little bit of soul searching and sometimes often it's to light that lantern to put a wish a goal a dream in that lantern to put our purpose in that lantern so it lights our way forward okay so some of you are doing a lot of contemplation here right now the hermit also brings in a healing element to our weekend as well okay so again you might really be wanting to uh uh, spend just some alone time this weekend, whether it's to, you know, whether it's to try and assess whether you can heal a situation, can I fix it or is it time to go, um, you know, whether this is to really focus on uh, clearing your chakras, um, cutting negative energy cords, right, whatever that looks like to you, or maybe you're calling in your spirit guides and doing some spirit meditations, whatever that looks like to you, right, this brings a sense of peace, a sense of healing, and also perhaps even a sense of direction. You might also in this energy, this could be the time where some of you are seeking out some wisdom, the hermit can represent a wise old sage. Somebody in your world, they may or may not be spiritual, but they uh, certainly could be. Perhaps you're getting a reading done. Maybe you are um, in a group meditation. Okay, Perhaps you're engaging in the form of yoga that's not exercise, right? But it is focused on the meditation, not different varieties of yoga. Um, you know, you could be uh, seeking out somebody in your world who does tend to have an old soul and who is a little bit wise and they always have something very uh, thought-provoking to say. Uh, sometimes you might ignore them, okay? You might just, you know, you know, say, you know, really uh, appreciate what they have to say and then you go do your own thing anyway, right? We've got free will and then you might be like, oh, damn it, they said I probably shouldn't do that, okay? So you might just be seeking out some real world guidance and advice, but the Hermit and the Four of Swords, you might be very much in touch with your spiritual self this weekend, but we have the King of Wands here also, so this can really be you once you contemplate, once you're in this energy and now you're like, yes, now I'm springing to action, I'm taking taking control, taking charge, taking the lead. I'm the lead player in my own story and I'm not going to let anyone keep me down. So you could be really thinking about things first um, and then springing into action. This can also be the king of wands, likes a sense of adventure, likes to have fun, uh, you know, doesn't like to sit still. So it may be that you're in this energy here with the four of swords and the hermit to 
get that little bit of R&R &R to recharge your batteries a little bit so that you have the energy that you need. Um, perhaps on Sunday, uh, Sunday is Easter, right? And so, you know, maybe you got the little bit of alone time first and then you get together with friends and family and you're up for a really good time. Um, but the King of Wands and the Hermit, they can both be people in your lives as well, right? So we already discussed the Hermit, but the King of Wands can be, um, you know, a friend, uh, somebody who is like maybe the head of a household, okay, or maybe just someone who takes charge of a situation, but they're fun to be around. They're in a good mood, happy vibes all around with this energy, but whatever the situation is, the king brings in that success element for you, okay? It can be that if you're thinking about, you know, following a goal, a dream, a path, springing into action, that the king of wands, it's like, yep, now I'm good, now I'm ready. I know I'm going to be successful at this. It's filled with confidence, okay? Your advice from spirit, the high priestess, this is a great time for, to you, for you to meditate, get in touch with your spiritual senses, the high priestess, very connected with the moon, okay, to receive energy, receive wisdom, receive messages, okay, but it also is is open to finding peace. The High Priestess is a very peaceful card. Okay, so finding your inner peace and finding that higher connection and finding your higher self. So awesome, awesome weekend for you guys to be doing this. And, you know, don't forget, I mean, we do talk about full moons and um, new moons and things about manifestations and letting go and healing and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, it is also an incredibly spiritual time as well. The veil is thinner and this is where we can really um, connect with our higher selves. A lot of people are raising their vibration. They're stepping into a higher level of being and a lot of light codes are being activated at this time. So you could be just pay attention to your signs, um, repeating numbers, um, songs coming on the radio, like that just kind of resonate with you right at, right at that time. Or maybe they kind of like, Oh, inspire you in some way. Um, insects, birds, things like that, things that are a little bit out of the ordinary, out of place, something that catches your eye and you're like, oh, that's weird, right? Those are some sort of messages, okay? So pay attention to all those things. You're probably seeing a lot of repeating numbers right now, um, depending on your current path that you're on, your current direction. Um, your current purpose for being here is you might be at a different stage. So some of you might be seeing a lot of ones right now, springing you into action, okay? Following your goals and dreams, taking initiative. Maybe you're seeing a lot of threes, creation in your life, things blossoming in your world, inviting you to create things or to manifest things. Maybe you're seeing the nines, right? Wrapping things up and getting things done. So have a pay a close attention to those and look at look up those things when you see them. We have the Ten of Cups coming in here as blessings headed your way this weekend. Home, family, friends, um, feeling content, uh, having a good time, all counting your blessings. This is a very important time of the year to do that as well. Um, so the Ten of Cups, this is where we all inspire to be. Aspire to be. Um, happy home, happy family, and um, just feeling the feel-good vibes. So you could really just be focused on you, on your close connections this weekend, and and um, just feeling kind of good. All right. Maybe you don't have everything that you want, but it's like I'm kind of happy with where I am right now and I'm just enjoying my weekend. So um, that is a blessing for you there. So, you know, maybe you are dealing with some things. You get those out of the way and then it's good times, good vibes for all. We love the Ten of Cups, one of the best energies, and one of the happiest ones in the entire deck. We've got the Five of Swords coming out here as well, okay? And this is part of your overall overall outcome. I'm going to get another card for that too because I don't want to leave it there. Um, the Five of Swords, it can be you um, recognizing um, what you need to focus on clear, honest, truthful communication, but also a little bit of discerning communication there as well. Fives do represent obstacles and challenges, but they also represent an opportunity to change. 
So it may be with the Five of Swords that you are gaining some deep insights this weekend, very insightful energy. And the Five of Swords, you're like, okay, I need to focus on how I communicate with people. I need to communicate a little bit better. I need to learn not to take things personally because someone else might be in a bad mood. Um, I might need to learn to, uh, you know, know when to stop talking. Okay, sometimes we take uh, a conversation that starts out as a healthy debate or something and we take it a few levels too far. So you could be really getting those deep insights there um, about communication, how you communicate, who you communicate with, and this is your opportunity to change, okay? It may also be with this Five of Swords that there is an argument here, okay, or there is some sort of conflict and you are focused on resolving that this weekend, all right? Um, but the Five of Swords is also kind of like a battle, okay? And, you know, sometimes we need to recognize Okay, that because the five of swords is actually kind of a winning energy, but always with like a double edged sword. Okay, always uh, something, you know, in order for me to win, I have to defeat somebody else. So this could be you recognizing that your path to success and following your dreams may result in someone else being defeated. Whether this is a job whether this is a relationship, okay, or whether this is just, you know, your way, your way forward needs to be to let something go, okay, whatever that looks like to you, right, and so there's something here where we're focused on letting something go possibly, okay, or we're focused on doing what is right for ourselves, and, but somebody else may not be in that same happy vibe okay um and yes this is the time of year a lot of people are having a lot of changes in their relationships okay or even how they think about relationships right so this could be you're focused on communication with people in your world and you know you're like okay yeah i recognize where we went sideways now is our opportunity to change okay we've got the moon card with that five of swords okay so there's something here that we're recognizing okay we're doing some emotional deep dive here and something is illuminated um for you in that energy okay so something may come to light you might recognize something okay and this is where we go the moon card can really help us with healing, with understanding our emotions, understanding how we do things, okay? So you could be really doing a little bit of a deep dive there. The moon does bring things to light. Things that have been hidden in the shadows may come to light, right? Something that you've been dreaming of, something that you have maybe pushed aside that comes out in the open. So remember, there is this big healing energy that's coming in here, but not without a little bit of something that we do need to face, deal with, or to make a conscious effort to change in our world. Okay, the moon has to do with your dreams as well. And again, a very spiritual energy with this. So you could really be and then this particular moon card, we do actually have the full moon represented there. So this can be that we are in this full moon energy. Sometimes um, emotions run high. Sometimes, you know, people um, act a little bit loopy. And uh, so sometimes we need to find a, find a resolution for those things or maybe avoid issues um, entirely. Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes you just say, you know, if you're going into a family situation, right, maybe you just know that there's probably going to be some minor little family arguments there, as there always is, especially between like siblings and things like that. And so perhaps here that you are, um, again, finding a better way to deal with those things, okay? But the moon can certainly bring about that healing and really focuses on our subconscious. And um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's kind of bringing in a very calming energy for you. A little bit of enlightenment, I feel, maybe coming to some of you this weekend, all right? But again, pay attention to your dreams, um, any signs, symbols, synchronicities that you're seeing. And don't, and don't forget to be in a receiving energy as well. Open your heart. Okay, um, be ready to receive. Maybe there's apologies, things with that five of swords. Maybe, you know, you're healing a rift and you're um, getting things back on track. 
right? So it's not always all bad. It's how we deal with things going forward, right? So, but yes, that five of swords can represent a little bit of a challenge for you, but I feel here that you have an opportunity to heal, release, follow your own path, okay? Or to um, resolve some situations there or just recognize a better way. So I'm going to leave that there for you folks. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Uh, embrace the energy. Have a little bit of a rest if you can. And have some fun if you can. So I thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel and throw a comment down there um, in the comment box as well. So have a great one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.